Hey guys, it is Andrea, also known as Happy. Um, I am your instructor for the graphic design class. So I just want to get on here and do a quick video for you um, because one of the the sites that we're going to use is Behance. So what Behance is pretty much a, like a, a portfolio or a, a site where uh, artists, graphic designers, um, video artists, like any artist um, can post their work and it's really, really cool site. So um, I usually am already logged in. I tried to log out so that I can show you what it's going to look like when you come to it. But when you come to it, this is what it looks like. It's um, Behance.net. Um, and you'll see off the bat that you have all types of options. Illustrator, Lightroom, Photoshop, Behance, the best of Behance, graphic design, photography, illustration, and so on. And what this site is, um, you can look here for inspiration and you can actually search. So if you wanted to find something like posters, because you do have a poster assignment, you just click over here in the search bar and type posters and posters that other people have designed will come up now because i want this to be a short video i won't go through that and show you that but it's pretty easy for you guys to do so best to be hands projects feature about today's curators so you can just scroll through and you can look at some of the um art that uh behance has chosen to put on their front page which is also cool because you could get your art on the first page front page what so awesome all right but anyway when you go to sign in so you have this welcome to behance it's telling you to sign up with your email but if you already have an Adobe account, like if you through your Adobe Creative Cloud, however you're getting through, it is the same sign in for every Adobe page, which is awesome. So what you do, click, um, you'll just click sign in because you don't even have to click sign up if you have an Adobe account. Click sign in. You'll go here. You will put your credentials in, um, your email address, and then whatever your password is, you'll put that in. I always choose stay signed in so that I don't have to do this every time. When you get in, you can set up your profile. As you can see, I have my little uh, my little character here. I'm gonna hit continue, and then um, I'll go into you know my actual site, which is showing me like uh, today's work in progress. These are some of the people who have um, posted their work. Also, Behance Live. So when I go live, um, I'll either have a link or all you have to do is find me. I am Happy ninety seven H A P P I E nine seven um it should be in blackboard as well but all you have to do is click live and you can see whoever is live at the moment which is kind of cool because people are live all the time it's pretty awesome you can even go live um once you learn something uh, well enough you hit create project and then this is where you would upload a project if you have it um but in any event you'll click here and then you can scroll through and you can see what Adobe has picked um, as the top project, but that's as easy as it is. That's really it. You go to Behance Live and you're on. Um, if you go to your personal site, like if I go to mine, and you guys will see too, I showcase student work. So whatever work um, you have, this is from last class. You can see FCC Fall 2019 graphic uh, student projects. Um, so I have their work posted in here as well and then certain um, designs that um, I've done as well. So you feel free to browse. Like I said, I am happy 97. Also follow me, um, I'll follow you I'm on here as well. But it's really just a site for people to showcase their work. And since I have a few minutes, I didn't go over, I'm gonna click on the search bar to show you. If I type poster, you know, um, and I click posters and you'll get like links to different posters and it'll give you different ideas. Not necessarily the type of poster uh, that you do, but it gives you ideas for like styles. Like let's say I saw this one, I was like, oh, I kind of like this see-through box style. Maybe I'll use something like that on mine. Or, oh, I kind of like the colors that I see in this one. Maybe I'll use that. Or, wow, that was a cool little way that they did um, negative spacing with the hair. So maybe I'll do that you know, and things like that. So I pretty much look in here for inspiration, their tutorials, I mean, everything, you name it, is in this site. So pretty much that, my friends, is how you um, create a, uh, I mean, that's how you create your Behance account. Super easy, not much to do. Like I said, if you already have an Adobe ID, um, you're already signed in. I mean, all you have to do is sign in. If you don't have an Adobe ID, make sure you get an Adobe ID because the CC software is um, um, is is required, or like let's say you're using you know the account of your 
parents or something like that, then just go to adobe.com um, and get yourself an Adobe ID or just Google Adobe sign in um, or sign up or something like that. And you can get an Adobe ID. So you don't have to be a part of anything um, or have anything to get an Adobe ID. All right. So that's pretty much what I wanted to go over with you today. Um, pretty cool. Too easy. See you guys in the next video. Ta-ta for now. Ta-ta. Ta-ta.